Hi guys! Welcome to another video. Today I was actually supposed to install an inverter, but looks like the people who built this truck did not finish the shore power. So I'm having to drop it off at Freightliner to get that fixed before I can install the inverter. So instead, since I still have the day off, I have to get something done. So I'm going to work on the interior of the truck and right now, She's pretty much a blank canvas, and actually this is not a she, it's a he. His name is Donner. I've affectionately named him Donner. And that's because his brother is Blitzen. So, if, if you catch that, Donner and Blitzen, I thought that was cute. Anyways, so Donner here is going to get a bit of a facelift, and we're going to get him outfitted so that way drivers can be comfortable. So let's get going. Well, so the first thing that we really need to do is attach the ELD, but a lot of the stuff that I need to put in the truck isn't here at the moment, and I really need to go get some extra tools and things to get all this done. Plus, I haven't bought the refrigerator or the microwave yet, so we are going to run to both Lowe's and Home Depot. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I put all the extra stuff, yep, under here. Oh my gosh, and we have to get a bunch of fluids and things. So maybe we'll go to Walmart, Lowe's, and Home Depot, and wow, today is going to be a lot. All right, well, let's get going. This is why you put your tools back. I'm looking for this, oh, oh no, no, there's a hole in my bag. Oh, this is why you don't use plastic bags for this. But I found exactly what I was looking for. And it's this little star bit. I don't know if you can see what it looks like. Anyways, so this specific bit, which I'm gonna need a new bag, so I'm gonna just leave that out. Um, is what takes off these little screws that hold in this panel right here. So, and they're magnetic, so that's pretty cool. Originally, I put on these, this tape and stuff here because I was going to have somebody else do it, but now it's just me, myself, and I, so. I'm gonna just put these here so I don't lose them. And take our little panel off, if it'll come off. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Now, um, now I have our panel, and I'm going to cut a hole right here, which I already have the bit for that too. So I think this is, I think it's an inch. It's an inch. And instead of putting the whole bit in, what I do is I only put, I don't know, about half of it. So I put the, the pilot itself like right on the edge and then I cut a hole about that size because my ELD wires are not that big but um, this is a metal plate so once I cut through it it does have like a little bit of metal shavings on it so I have some stuff to protect against that but first we're gonna cut this hole I have a piece of plywood that I carry around with me to cut these holes so let's go do that this isn't the one that I want Okay, let's go do stuff. If I can get my battery off. This is why you, I need like octopus hands. Ugh, get it off in a second. I have another one, I just don't know where it is. Story of my life. I've known from experience that this thing goes down into the asphalt if you do it on the asphalt, so we're going to do it on the grass. And as you can see, here is our, our guy from the last time, so maybe we'll use him. 
and it's kind of hard to keep this thing straight so uh, I don't know maybe no nope, we definitely need the pilot on it okay here goes nothing I'm gonna stand on it to help hold it yes Here's our hole with some um, extra stuff, but that's okay. I can paint over that. So that's what I'm going to do after I mount. I'm gonna put the mount on first before I start taking all this tape off. I like to put at least one screw in. Oh, you know what guys? Let's just, let's take this off right here, the, the bottom part of it. As you can see, I'm kind of making up my mind as I go. I don't really have a process for this yet. I just kind of do whatever. And I just kind of want to get this covered first before I uh, before I put it back on because I think I'm gonna put it back on to mount the, uh, the mount on it or else uh, the screws go through here. So that's my idea for now. So these are what the wires look like. They already have a pr protective mesh over them but this is about as big as it needs to be through here. So now you can see why I cut the hole that size. So now to protect the mesh over the wires, I can put electrical tape on this, but sometimes the tape will just fall off. So instead I got liquid electrical tape that's black. It's not the best solution, but it is a solution. And what I do is I, I paint it and then I let it dry, so it's really goopy stuff. It's really quite goopy, and I just, I layer it on and then I let it dry, and then I'll have to do this multiple times. I don't know why they don't provide better brushes for these things, but I always do it over something because it tends to drip. Now that I did, the front and back of this plate just once. I'm gonna do it at least four times before I'm done, but because there's nothing else to do but to sit here and watch paint dry pretty much, we're gonna go put the wires in into the truck and I'll show you how cool this truck is um, because these wires are so easy to connect. So let's go, let's go do that. Do we need to watch Shelby use sharp objects to cut things? Probably not, she's not very good at it. I'm just gonna do it really slowly. Oh man, not looking good. Nope, okay, well there's one. One down, one to go. I know everybody's gonna say, well, why would you cut towards the wires? I don't know, because cutting towards my face seems more dangerous. If you knew me in sharp objects, you would understand. I am threading the wires through here, but the portion that I'm connecting to this is actually under here. So, and if you guys didn't know, this is where your fuse box is. find it at this moment. I think I might need a flashlight. Ah, he was hiding so deep down there. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is what it looks like. These things are real easy. They're just plug and play. So you just take it and plug it in. All right, it looks like they're completely in. Oh my goodness. But time will tell once we uh, officially turn this baby on, but not right now. So I'm just gonna wrap these up and shove them through here to the other side. I just kind of bunch them up when I do it so that way they all come out. See, now we have our stuff hooked up. And we can put our panel back on. Oh, somebody's foot was here, how nice. Was that mine? Maybe. <laughs> oh 
boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright, come on. Did you go back? Oh boy. I think I'm missing them. Alright, come on, you little things. There we go. Sometimes you gotta be rough with it to get them to go in. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so that's all done. And now, so this is super easy. I don't know if you guys know about the nine pins that are over um, underneath, uh, kind of where your clutch would be. They're little green sort of circle things over there. Usually the ELDs would have a plug-in that plugs in over there at that nine pin. But there are these new plugs called RP1226s and if you get your truck built with them, it integrates with the truck somehow. Don't ask me, I really don't know. I'm not that tech savvy, but I have these trucks built with those plugs so that way I could plug everything in really easy. Even though the nine pin is really easy, I just don't like that you have to run all the wires up where like the driver is and it could be really kind of dangerous in my personal opinion. So, that's that. And that's all we can do for now until I get the ELD out and I put the panel on. So, since there's not much we can do here right now, we're gonna go ahead and head to the stores. Not sure which one's first, but we have a ton of things to pick up, so let's get going. I'm deciding whether or not I want to do, give each of my trucks a thing of rain -X. Okay, so I'm thinking because it's getting close to summer, we're just going to get the bug remover, uh, washer fluid, <laughs> And then, um, cause usually, usually I'll get this one, the purple one, uh, for de-icer. But since it's summer, we're just gonna get the bug remover one. So hopefully this works well. I can't even remember everything. Well, I got everything that I could possibly get here. And honestly, they're just completely out of everything. So I'm going to now go on to Lowe's and see what they have, because maybe they'll have some of this. Um, and we can continue shopping instead of going to the truck stop because it's going to be more expensive at the truck stop so I really don't want to get it there. them real quick and I think that's it that's all we need from here All you gotta do is ask. <laughs> okay, could you help please? Okay, so BKM had to stay with the truck because there is a ton of stuff in the back of it and I didn't want anybody stealing it, so I'm doing this by myself. And 
think we found our microwave. Uh, crap, I don't remember. There's a, I think this one's, yeah, this one's 900 watts. Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. I feel like the, the weatherman when they're trying to like figure out which way the point. Thanks, Jen. You're not gonna believe the temperatures we have for Schenectady. Sch Schenectady. Got a thunderstorm rolling in through Schenectady. Schenectady. Five day forecast for Schenectady. 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 Do oh. this. This one, and then there's an 1100 watt one. But I'm pretty sure it's this one. So we're gonna get this one. thing in our cart and we're gonna go pay for it because there ain't anything else we need here so let's get going now that we're done going to all the stores and it's dark outside <laughs> I think oh my gosh I don't think I can get everything in there without unboxing some of it first so we're going to unbox some of it because I have some tools still in my pocket and I think the only thing we're really gonna unbox is the refrigerator. And then we'll set it all up tomorrow. There's a moth in the truck. We're just gonna move everything into that truck for safekeeping. And uh, so that way I can sleep good tonight because knowing that somebody's already stolen the antenna off my truck, I don't want them to steal anything else. So let's move this stuff. I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe if I could just unbox it here. Let's unbox it on top of here. What do you think? Good idea, bad idea, who knows? It's happening, that's all we know. These are really bad wire cutters. I've really abused them over the years. Really abused them. I think I'm gonna just unbox it on top of here. Cause I'm gonna take all this trash home anyways. This is probably dumb. I probably should have taken them off afterwards. That came out rather nicely. I'm going to use. I can't see. There you go. I'm going to use the dude behind the camera to help me shove this thing into the truck. I can't see. Okay, just tilt it towards me. Okay. All right. I think what I'm going to. Oh, hold on. Don't push. You're going to crush my fingers. I don't know. I think maybe I'll just lift this up and then put it down. There we go. And I think, so you could just, let's see, back it up to here. We're gonna plug this in over here. Okay, okay good for now. Kind of scratch the floor just a little bit, but that's okay. All right, next is the microwave, but we're just gonna put the box in here. Heavy bud. Come on, bud. Yeah, that one can stay in the driver's seat for now.
try not to mark, make the microwave fall over. Ooh. Okay, scooch back. All right, this one's gonna be kind of dirty to kind of unbox in here, but that's okay. Got a vacuum, can vacuum it up later. I don't want to use my muscles today. want to really cut too closely to this so Ooh. now that's off and trust me once you see what it looks like after it expands it will blow your mind it's literally the most comfy bed I've ever slept on ever wait a couple of days because <laughs> this thing it takes forever this is our starting point like right here it's like I don't know the size of my hand we'll come back tomorrow and see where it's at sometimes the corners take a little bit longer to expand when it's cold outside and it's cold in Portland so we'll just give it some time might as well unbox the freaking microwave while we're here this is like the biggest microwave I could possibly fit in that tiny hole. And I'm so excited because it looks so good. The, the name Magic Chef is really cheesy and I know it's like the Home Depot brand, but eh, it is what it is. It's a nice microwave. Oh yeah. We're doing the box shuffle. Is that a dance move? Should make it a dance move. Goodbye box. So this is really weird. And I'll tell you this from experience from putting tons of microwaves in that you can alter where this uh, clamps so that it clamps through this hole right here. You see how I can reach it? Um, so you can move this so that way it's over here when you put the microwave in. But you gotta like completely loosen it, which takes a while sometimes there we go alrighty so we're just gonna put our little clampy over here and then I just kind of wrap it around the back back here just gonna have to work with it fluids I could get today in the truck. throw away all of the trash that we made and tomorrow going to attempt to install these lights that I've purchased this is only one box of three that I have and I've never done these before but I have a feeling that they're going to be really cool if I can get them to work so and I spent quite a pretty penny on them so hopefully they will be really cool and uh, that's it for tonight and I'll see you guys in the morning just got a freaking smoothie bowl. Started this, from the beginning. Oh, this is my second smoothie bowl. 
there was a freaking nasty ass banana. In the you fridge. can't say nasty ass. It's YouTube. Come on. You had a banana that tastes like a cucumber. <laughs> okay. Have you guys ever eaten a banana? That, no, never that, eaten a banana. Stop! I'm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Have you ever eaten a banana that's so ripe that you bite into it and it's nothing like a banana? I don't even know how to describe it. I think that's what happened in my first smoothie bowl. So I had to go back and get another one because that banana was so gross. I literally opened the door and spit it out while we were driving. <laughs> 